10 minutes to the start of the auction and we're not there yet. Back right bitter rocks. Wham, wham, wham. <laughs> I don't care, I got my auction fixing yesterday. Tell him about it. No, cause you'll have to watch my video. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Woo. Frugal peanut rocks. <laughs> We're going to a collector's dream auction today. Oh, they got some really neat stuff. Very cool stuff. Probably not. We're not going to be able to afford anything. Yeah, it's probably not going to be a reseller's market at all. But We're just going to film stuff for people. <laughs> it's all for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sounds like they're starting. You look around. Get one because we use the uh, computer system and it only takes numbers. So uh, I need to settle up, of course, and get done today, folks. In case of the tie bid, we'll open that bid between no submitters and no submitters only. Uh, we do have the credit card uh, machine, so if you do want to pay with the credit card, you're welcome to. There is no buyer's fee or anything like that. Stace has got one bid that I gave her that if the gentleman gets here, we got to make sure. And Mike's got one. And we got to make sure if Norbert gets here that we give him the number. He wasn't sure if he could make it. He's from Schultzburg. So. so if you see something like that going on, that's what the deal is. Okay? Did I miss anything, Randy? Mark, did I miss it? I think it's time to rock and roll, isn't it? And start, one more play. 10, 15, 20, 50, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, so 55 on, no, I forgot it. 14. It's the nicest porta potty I've ever seen. So many gravy boats, you could be the Admiral of the Gravy Navy. Who made it up? Me. Me, I did. Yeah. That okay. Two and a half. Five. 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 This is what we have to do when we go out to the car to get our inventory. Because some big baby doesn't want to be left alone. Well, she thinks we're going bye-bye. We're not going bye-bye. You can sit in your bed, though. I know, it's tragic. We spent about $75, which we weren't... Hello. We didn't think we were going to get anything, and we got... Some stuff we had to pay up a little. Well, I ended up with way more than I thought I would. Me oh, too. I wasn't going to buy anything. Yeah, that's kind of your M.O. Yeah. What do I have? I think it was toothpaste. <laughs> I just brushed my teeth, so probably. Well, let's go with that then. Okay. I'm clean. Um, well, this is actually two different lots. I got these International Harvester wrenches. There's three of them. I can only see two right now. But I paid two fifty for the three of those. And then I got this bucket of other tools, which includes some uh, snap-on big ones. Oh, it's Craftsman. Or Craftsman, I'm sorry. Big ones. Biggins. Biggins. And some braces. Another Craftsman. 
Uh, I got that for... Did I have to pay five for that? I don't remember. I just looked at it this morning and I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that was two fifty as well, actually. I don't think anyone else wanted it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These were in that bucket, too. Big old monkey wrench and another brace. These are cool. This was some wheeling and dealing I did with my friend Mike. Um, he actually wanted to look at some tobacco items that I dug up out of my junk pile. And then him and I actually bid against each other for, there was three of these. And he won, and he just kept one, and he gave me the other two. I like this one. Yeah, that World Series one might might be good. Um, so they're from the 80s. Oh, look, there's a price tag. Oh, no, just JJ. But he gave me these, so I just gave him the tobacco things. That was my stuff. This is... We got three totes of these. Just old... Jeez. Old magazines. Master Mechanic. What were the other ones? Do you remember? I, I think they're... I don't know. Or Mechanic Illustrated. I said Master Mechanic. Yeah. But they're cool. And they're old. Are you going to sell them as is or... Yeah. Or strip out the ads? And... No. Just sell them as is. Do you remember what you paid for those? It was cheap. It was $6 for all three boxes. For three of these Sterilite totes. What were you thinking with these? I don't know. Oh. I wasn't. Masters in art. I mean, you got them. You're gonna em. have to, like, edit that out. <laughs> what? There's a booby picture in there. Shut up. I missed it. Oh, that'll get us views. That guy saw him. Did I see boobies? I don't know. I just thought they looked interesting. And yeah, I forget what, what March they... 1905. Oh, yeah. Here I got some cars. Oh, old yeah. car magazines and stuff. I, I'm really not even sure what's in here automotive merchandising there was a lot of stuff from car dealerships there yeah i'll have to go through that ephemera this is a brand new service station restroom key kit i forgot how old they said it was i thought they said from the 60s thank you but it's got men and women door signs and then it's got is the key actually in there no no key oh. just like the, the key like the big plastic, that. What is that? You put the key on that so they don't steal your keys. Oh. Watch Marcy work. Well, there you go. That's perfect, John. <laughs> your crap, you can deal with this. Thank you. <laughs> Thinkatron in the original box. This is interesting. We, we had never heard of one of these before, but we watched a... Advertising. The years of advertising. Was it about advertising or was yeah. it about toys? No, I think it was that advertising show that we watched. It was like it a was documentary, a yeah. Like it started in the 50s, I think, and went up through the 80s. But they talked about this toy that's got these, I don't know, I think it's like trivia questions and answers. I don't even know how it works, but it seems to work. It's old and it's got the box. These I picked up, I don't know what they're for. It's funny because I, I think they're just displays. Well, this looks like you can put your weed in it. Okay. I, I saw there was a lot of old guys checking these out. Yeah. And I remember when one guy came in, like, did they sell those wood cars yet? But I guess they just wanted to see what they sold for. Oh. Isn't there a third one? Yeah, right there. I saw a house one. I don't know if they're worth anything, but they're kind of neat. Oh, here it is. My Chevy Nova owner's manual oh yeah 1969 chevy nova it's a 72 nova i don't know if they're all nova in here but there's different owner's manuals and whatnot is that what i said nova. you said nova yes dear well i thought that's what i remembered but... marcy actually bought these and i can't believe how cheap you got them do you remember what you paid they're two dollars a piece Wine and Kugel's beer tray. Lime and Kugel's. And Guinness. Those are my two favorite beers. The Guinness one's like new. Here's a tip. Yes. Wine and Kugel stuff, if you can find it cheap, pick it up. 
because it sells fast and it sells for good money. It's hard to find it cheap. Yeah, apparently it's made of gold. <laughs> I got this box cheap. This was towards the end of the auction after a lot of people left. I don't know if these two toys are much. This little Ertl truck. That's is... a Tonka. I know. It is. Well, that is maybe older quality. It is a pretty good Tonka. But I really liked the pick em up truck. Ertl, Ertl, that's broke. Yeah. They had a lot of brand new models there. Oh, this one's got writing on it. I picked up the scraps at the end. So some of these are partials. Some of them are partially completed. But I recently learned those will still sell. Even if they're, you know, partially done like that. And, oh, there's the lid for that one. Some, there's a couple empty boxes in here as well. And the empty boxes will sell. It's called box art. <clears throat> Which version do you like better? Perhaps. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I'm trying to stand on the thing. I don't remember. What was it a dollar a piece for him? Because I think I paid two dollars. Yeah. That. I think so. I wanted those. Wait, I got candles that would fit in it. I know. Oh. So I was thinking about using it. Where? In the house. You got hanging on the wall somewhere? Yeah. Cool. And then I'll probably just take these to our booth. Sweet. Yeah. Weirdo. I picked these up right at the end. 1997 edition MVPs from the Packers. Oh, yeah, these are... Well, hello. Got Brett and Reggie, Edgar. Ooh, what's that? Who are we advertising to? Agricultural born. <laughs> Look how he's gripping that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta... I'll never look at another corn cob the same again. <laughs> Headliners, uh, Reggie White. I got these cheap. I don't remember what I paid, but some collector or Packer fan's going to love them. There's post. Oh, I didn't know there was posts in there. Yeah. That's not fun. Oh, these are more of the... Mechanics Illustrated. Mechanics Illustrated. Oh, this is popular mechanics. I didn't know that had been around that long. Yeah, that's been around a long time. It's from 64. I used to like to look at the old ones, actually. Yeah, these would be fun to look through, but I can smell the vintage. Smell the vintage. Mm -hmm. That That's going to be merch, Mars. What? Smell put that, the vintage? We'll put that on a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> well, neither one of us thought we'd get anything, and we did okay, I think. We'll get it in and uh, list it. Well, nothing else. I'm very happy with my farm journal. I bet. Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Pros and cons to that kind of auction is cons, it gets expensive. Very expensive. Cons, they last a long time because they don't <sighs> lot things together. It's one item at a time. And they don't break into two rings. Yeah, they would not. <laughs> they kept saying they were going to split up into two rings. And they never did yesterday. I so was it, lied to all day. It, it was an all day auction. Six hours we were there. The pro to that kind of auction though is you don't come home with junk. No. You only buy stuff that you're going to sell. So that's it folks. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. If you caught the live I tried to do <laughs> during the auction. We're you, very sorry. You know what a putz I am. I could not figure out how to change the camera. <laughs> uh, I made a short out of it, so you get you don't have to watch the full 11 <laughs> minutes of pain. Struggle. Struggle is real. Old man struggle. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye. <laughs>